All right, this is from Khan Academy, Geometry, Unit 6, Lesson 2. We have a point A that's at negative 1, 4, and a point at C, which is at 4, negative 6. We want to find a point B that will be on the line AC such that the ratio to A to B and A to C is going to be a 3 to 5 ratio. Now, what does that, all that mean in English? Let's go ahead and just draw what's happening here. First, we have point A located at negative 1, 4, so that's back 1 on the x-axis, and 4 on the y-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That right there is point A. Negative 1, 4. That's point A right there. Now let's go find point C. Point C is 4 out on x. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's negative 6 on y, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that right there is our 4, negative 6, which is point C. Now, um, we want to find a point B that's on the line AC. Now, there's no line through AC, so let's just create an AC line. So this just kind of makes sense. Um, I'm looking for a straight edge just now, and it's the best I'm finding right now. So let's make a line AC. So that's the line AC. And we gotta find a point B somewhere on that AC line. And what we're looking for is a ratio um, from A to B, and then from B to C has to be a three, five ratio. Now let's see what kind of ratio we have already. There is a ratio already between um, A to C. Um, let's see. Uh, to get from A to C, I have to go down four times here, and then I have to go down six more times here. So from here to here, from there to there, that's down four and then down six. So that's a total of ten. Now, to go from here to here, I have to go over two, right here, over two, and then four more. So two and four, two and four makes six. So right now, I'm using a ratio of 10 to six. Let's see here. And they want us to use instead a ratio of three to five. Okay, so that means that um, we're gonna go down, instead of 10 times and over six, ratio, let's see, I could, uh, I think they want us to do it this way. <laughs> let's go over six times here, then down 10. I think that's a proper one. So six and 10. So. A 3 to 5 changes this from a 6 to 10 to a 3 to 5. So that's go over 3 times. Let's see, over 1, 2, 3 times. And then we're going to, instead of going down 10, we're going to go down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it takes me right there. So this now is a move of 3 over and five down. So instead of six over 10 down, which is the ratio that's being used right now from A to C, we're gonna go to get to B, a three to five ratio, which is going over three and then down to five. And this new point right here, looks like X is one and Y is negative one. So we're gonna call that B. And that's our B.